Welcome to Believer's Channel. I'm Pastor Russ, and today I'm going to be talking about the new religion. And before we get into that, I'd like to remind you that there's a thumbs up button. When you hit that, it helps us a lot. And when you become a subscriber, it just opens up more and more doors for people to hear the Word of God. And it's free. So hit that little button on the screen down in the corner there. Become a subscriber. Become part of what we're doing. I just ask that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're going to be talking about the environment. There's a new religion called uh, the environmental religion. That's what it is. And I listened to Tucker Carlson talk about this on his news, news broadcast. <clears throat> and he done a great job, a fantastic job, uh, like he always does, as to pulling things together, how so many things are so wrong. And uh, it inspired me to do this because I'm thinking, this is what man thinks. What's God think? What's God got to say about our environment and our time? And in the Bible, you can go back and it'll tell you. Just tell you anything you want to know. You know, you got to think God created the, word, the earth. He created everything in it, on it. He created the universe, all the planets. So if he created it all, he's surely going to know if these people are whippy, talking through their head, saying things to you to make you do things that they want you to do. Such as, if you don't vote for me, the world's going to come to an end in 20 years. So, think about these things. Use common sense on a lot of it. Now, your car isn't going to bring on another ice age. The last ice age, there was no cars. And yet there was an ice age. How about the polar caps? They drilled down through them. Guess what they hit? They hit trees. A dead forest. Been there for centuries. So, think about it. The earth goes through changes. It changes every year a little bit. The planet itself has evolved. So, you got to use common sense on what people are saying. I talk to old timers uh, who uh, were farmers. And they say, well, when we were kids, the snow was up to just below the top of the telephone pole. <laughs> it's a lot of snow. And they would dig their way from the house to the bar. Then I've had them say, hey, we had some really good winters years ago. It was warm, it rained all the time, very little snow. <clears throat> and we had some winters that were so cold, it was below zero for months. And this was years ago, before there was any major pollution. And I don't believe there's any major pollution now. But they want to take our cars away. Why do they want to do that? The same person that preaches that that be done is flying around in a jet airplane. What gives off a bigger carbon footprint? The jet airplane or your car? I think it's the jet airplane. But if you ask him to give up his jet airplane, yeah, well, I can't do that. So let's use common sense on things when we hear it. Because it's, it's a religion. You know, religion can be used to do many things. Now Jesus tells us in the Bible what the score is on anything you want to know. And I'm going to read to you out of Genesis 8.22 what God has to say about our planet and the environment. He says, While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest time, and cold and heat, in summer and winter, in day and night, shall not cease. It's never going to change. In other words, we're always going to have the seasons. Some are going to be a little different than others. You're going to have a little warmer winters, colder winters, 
uh, more snow, more hurricanes, whatever, some years. <clears throat> Things are going to be the same and they're going to vary a little bit. God is not going to let anything happen to the earth. He said, as long as the earth remaineth. That's a very long time. And he's the one in charge of changing it. So let's use our noodle. And when we hear some of these things on TV, know these people need to be re-educated. They need to go back to school. I mean, some of the things they say you can learn in eighth grade. So what you need to focus on is your eternity, your eternal being. You're going to eventually be here on earth with Jesus and you're going to rule the earth with him for a thousand years. And then Jesus is going to redo the earth. He's going to renovate it and make it like an utopia. Beautiful. You don't want to miss that. The only way you can miss it is if you don't accept what Jesus did for you on the cross. You're a sinner. You can't, you can't take care of that yourself. Your sin has to be paid for. And, your, and the payment's already been made. All you have to do is accept it. Accept it right here, right now with me. Repeat after me this little prayer. Father God, I am so sorry I sinned against you. I know Jesus died for me. I accept what he did for me. And I ask that you forgive me. In the name of Yeshua Jesus. Amen. Now if you said that prayer, all your sins are forgiven. All you have to do is keep looking forward. Keep your eyes on Jesus. May the Holy Spirit enter you right now. It'll be a major part of your life. He'll help you with what you have to understand. He'll help you when, when things are being said that aren't right. He'll let you know. And we got a lot of that going on today. So I'm asking you right now, just, just believe with all of your heart that what you read in the Bible is true. What God says is true. And I can guarantee you what he says is true. I've lived it. Now I'd like to bless you. May God bless you. May he keep you. And may his face shine upon you. In Yeshua Jesus' name. Amen. God bless now.